Today, I'm making a high protein, low carb, open faced tuna melt sandwich. But first, I wanna talk about something I found very disturbing the other day when I went to open a can of tuna and saw printed on the top of the can, product of Thailand. Then I went to the store the following day to check on some other brands and saw a product of China and Indonesia. There's no need to support other countries when the products are in our backyard and people in America need jobs. So after visiting their website and researching American Tuna, a tuna company out in California, I decided to try and support American Tuna. Before I go any further, I am not getting paid to endorse this product. I'm doing it mainly because I want to support an American company, but also because I am getting tired of seeing Made in China or Product of China or 9 out of 10 products we buy in America. American Tuna is caught using MSC certified sustainable pole and line harvest method in the U.S. Pacific Northwest and then packed by hand in Oregon in BPA-free cans also manufactured in America. Now listen to this. There's 100% traceability for every single albacore harvested, meaning they can trace the final canned and labeled product back to the vessel that caught it. What do you think the chances are of that happening on a can of tuna that is a product of China? I got the variety 12 pack that comes with three cans each of jalapeno, garlic, regular, and no salt added. For today's tuna melt, I'm using a can of regular and a can of garlic. Now dump it straight out into the bowl, and this is a regular one, and you do not drain it. And there's no water, broth, or oil added to this. Those are all the natural fish juices and oils. As I'm breaking this apart, it looks and feels to be one solid piece of fish, not a bunch of pieces of fish pressed together. And it reabsorbed all those juices. Now do the same thing with a can of garlic tuna. And then add mayonnaise, minced dry onion, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, and capers. Give it all a good mix. For a full printable copy of this recipe and to learn how to make a high carb tuna melt, visit thewolfpit.com. Now add some freshly grated mozzarella cheese and some Parmesan cheese. Get everything all mixed together. Taste for salt and pepper and then set aside. For the bread in our tuna melts, I'm gonna use portobello mushrooms. Now remove the stems and scoop out the gills. Now fill each mushroom with the tuna and cheese mixture. And if you don't like mushrooms, you could do this with zucchini or bell peppers. Now add some sliced Roma tomato. Salt and pepper on the tomato. Top with more freshly grated mozzarella cheese. Now it's important these go into a raised rack so you get airflow underneath the mushrooms. Otherwise they're gonna boil in their own juices. And then they go into a preheated 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes or until the cheese is melted and it's nice and golden brown. And when they come out, don't be surprised if they look more like pepperoni pizzas than they do tuna melts. And there you have it, an ooey gooey, rich and savory, low carb, open face tuna melt sandwich. Everything you would want from a tuna melt except for the carbs. I've made the same tuna melt recipe many times before, but never on a mushroom. And let me tell you, the mushroom was the big surprise. I was a little bit worried it could overpower the tuna, but it didn't at all. I absolutely love the flavor and meaty texture. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you give this a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and come back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for new recipes and cooking videos.